Hi, you all. So, today we're going to do a pair of sneakers. We have these Converse here. Um, I'm going to just show you all how to design them. So, these are the Converse. This is in the inside, and the outside is plain white. Um, a customer of mine said she purchased them for Foot from Foot Locker for $29. So what we're going to do is design this part with uh, the young lady's name. So... This right here, you're going to just measure it to see. She want them going in an angle. So, I just um, measured it from here to there. And my measurements, I said at least about a 4.5. I get it. It'll probably be a little bit on here. But you also want to make sure that this small part is going to be big enough to hold the first letter. So, I, um, I put this design at a two because I can also start right here at that one two and do a four so I think I'm gonna make this two and four so I don't want it to be too big I'm just gonna duplicate that I'm going to change this to another color only because I only want these two to print. I have already did the blue ones. I mean the red ones. But they want them purple, purple still. And so I'm going to go to the name that I have. I'm going to mirror the image. See, I did a pair with that name. They both going to be purple mirror the image and then I always like to go down just a little so it won't be right on the line and we're gonna make it and when we come back I have it weed and I'll show you all how to press all right so now I have uh, the design so now I'm just gonna cut it in half and I'll let you all see how it's gonna look on the shoe and then I place it where I want it to go on the shoe I'm going to push from the inside out. Okay, so now that my presser has heated up, I just normally scoot it towards me. And this is a swing away presser. So I just swing it away. And like I said, I make sure that this is where I really want it to be before I press and I'm going to hold it firmly I'll take this heat um, then you can help hold it firmly and just stick it under there and press firmly on the heat press in the shoe together making sure that I'm moving my hand back and forth so I can get the entire um, design Okay, so now we have both shoes. Um, the The names will go in opposite directions. So we have both shoes done. And an idea for people or any... You can use rhinestones. However, you can also use these gemstones. These gemstones are not the correct color. But I just want to give y'all like an idea of what you can do. These are sticker gemstones that you can purchase from um, Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to show y'all um, something that you can do. These are sticker. They, I'm not going to leave these on permanent because we do have some gemstones. Well, the parent has gemstones that actually go with these, that color. And I'm not doing it for them. They're going to do it theirself. So I'm not going to even try to but I'm just gonna do one shoe to show y'all like give y'all an idea because this is gonna be removable like I said this is sticker so just trying to give it a little extra so you just put Strips of this. And 
Okay, yeah, I'm just going to stick that one right there this time. It's not even completely even, but just so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. Let me stick it on there. You can find these gemstones at Dollar Tree, and I think they'll work perfect for the shoes as well, too. You just have to make sure that you you cut them correctly and line them up correctly. So, like, if I, if I actually was going to leave these on the shoes, I'll probably, like, cut off this little one tip. This one up here get cut off. I get the point. I'm not trying to make this video long. I think y'all get it. So you can do them like that. But of course, like cut off these little extra pieces. Just have them evenly done. And you can also even take the gemstones and like put a strip over on the side if you want. Like you can bring them out on the side let me see it'll take four rows okay them up I'll leave that white piece white at the bottom but see something like that what y'all think what y'all think can you see but it, you should get the same color that matched the vinyl you use. I'm just, I just did that one and line this up. And then this, this is the side. I know the purple don't go, but that's the color they chose. So I would probably do mine's navy blue if I had to do a pair for myself or for my kid or something. But as y'all can see, these Dollar Tree ones work well. If you was doing it permanent, I also still use the gem glue. That way it will stick. You'll have an extra stick, so you'll still have the sticky tape, but you can use the gem glue to make it stick to the fabric, and you won't have to worry about it if it rain or something like that, and they won't just be able to remove it like I'm, I just did. Okay, that's the end of this video. I hope you all like it. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, share the videos with your friends and family. Thank you. Bye.